Hello, I would like to welcome you on this little addendum I'm making. So if you watch my previous tutorial, I explained how to make a natural mountainous skyboxes using Terragen, but I completely omitted any other kind of environment. I even mentioned in the video that if you want something urban, you will have to use a different method of generating a skybox. Now for my game, I don't really need anything urban, so I wasn't really concerning myself with anything urban. But I realized that my video wasn't really complete without it, so I'm making this shorter, uh, less effort addendum to that video to explain how to make uh, other kinds of skyboxes in Blender. Do note that this is only about how to create the skybox environment. How to set up the skybox, how to like connect the skybox together, how to make the skybox material, all of that is talked about in the original video. Link in the description. So if you haven't watched that video, you will probably be confused. So firstly, of course, we have to make the environment. This one is mostly made of just cubes with like skyscraper textures on them. The skyscraper textures were taken from textures.com. The top-down picture of a city that's used for the bottom is actually from Half-Life 2. I could not find a better picture in time and it's just an example for the tutorial's sake. I'm sure that whatever you make will be of higher quality. I'm not gonna go into details about how exactly I did everything because uh, this is just an example. I'm sure you have a better idea of what you want your skybox to look like. So now I'm just going to fast forward through the creation process. The most important part of making a skybox is the camera setup. Place the camera in the middle of your skybox. Then change your field of view from millimeters to percents. We want a crisp 90 degree angle. Lastly, change your render resolution to something square. I'm going with 256 pixels by 256 for that crisp retro pixelated look. We need a 360 view of the scene. Since our camera covers only 90 degrees, we will need a total of 6 pictures. I have decided to keyframe each position of the camera so that I could easily go back and change things if I need to. For the sake of simplicity, I will render and save each image manually. Then we have to combine the image into one picture. I covered this process in my previous video, so if you are confused, please go watch that. Now, the way I made Fog left some weird artifacting on the top of the picture. That was a pretty scuffed setup made just for the tutorial, and the way I made Fog was probably not very optimal. Fortunately, that's easy to fix with Photoshop tools. But you might want to be more careful. And now, after importing everything to Unreal, we have a nice urban environment made entirely in Blender. As long as you have the same camera setup, you can make other kinds of environments, even the mountainous ones which removes the need for Terragen. If you are confused about any part in this admittedly scuffed tutorial, the Blender file I used to make it is free to download in the description. Feel free to copy-paste anything into your own project.